morning everyone um, it rained for four days so we are back it's Monday and we're gonna go work on the jail some more today and hopefully we can get it um, pretty much to a place where we can stucco it and paint it and do all that kind of stuff maybe tomorrow I don't think it's supposed to rain anymore Is it nine? <laughs> we're uh, putting gas in the in the car so all right kids let's see how we do today I don't know I wish it was raining again today. I don't want to go. It's like, after you have a long vacation and you have to go back to work, it's like, oh. At least the sun is shining. There's three clouds in the sky. And, yeah. Okay. Bye. So Chris and I just got to the site. And look at what I see. There's like tracks right there and they're kind of big because like that's my hand and that's the I don't know not mine or something but it's pretty big tracks I don't really remember what we showed you guys the last time before we left before the rainstorms came so I'm just gonna do a quick little show right here Christopher is framing out, well, I guess not framing out, but he's measuring out where we're going to just stick a fake door. Yep. So he's got all the lumber cut yeah. right there. There's some fence boards. I cut them uh, at half the length of the door, and then you were going to hide the seams and all the screws that we attach them with with uh, some boards going across the top. Yeah. Look kind of like an old-fashioned gate. So yeah. We're going to get that up the trim, the sign. And then uh, uh, I'll save on uh, using the hardy board. Yeah. We'll cut around it. So It'll be awesome. And then I, sorry, moving kind of fast. Um, oh, she had a, the jail right there. So uh, that's going to go above the door. And then if you'd like to take a little trip with me, we're going to walk up here. Flying away today. <laughs> um, we built that old Eureka Mine sign. And I went ahead and cut that down and aged it a little bit. We is awesome. Christopher used to build outdoor barbecue islands when we lived in Temecula for a little while. And he's got a fancy tool he wants to show you guys for cutting hardy backer. So you guys ready for this? Beats the heck out of a razor blade. That's Yay! Sure. All right. Laying down on the job. That was my, that was my sexy scenic press. <laughs> Doesn't get much sexy. <laughs> uh, boy, that door's looking awesome. Yeah, it is. It's because I had a hand in it. That's, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cool. What are you using on that new wood? Well, on this new wood, I have got, I, what I did is I have my, special handy dandy paint tray right here. If you don't have one of these little babies, you need to go get them. Home Depot, like two or three bucks. Lifesaver, hold it in your hand. It's got a little, <laughs> let me show you right here. Sorry, I was going to talk about the door. There's a paintbrush. <laughs> no, no, no. But I'm telling you, this paint tray is awesome. You can hold it, especially if your hands are little like mine. And it's got this right here, so, and it all sits down in there. It's beautiful. Anyway. It's wow. Wow watered down black paint. That's remarkable. Like a little bit of black paint, a lot of water, <laughs> water down. <laughs> Chemistry right here. Thanks for showing us how to use a paint tray and a chip brush. No, but this is a special. Oh, tray. it's your paint tray and yeah. chip brush. Okay. Anyway. So <laughs> well, I, I, whatever you need to make that door look. Would you like to look. see the technical way to do this? <laughs>
Sure. Paintbrush. Tip. <laughs> right. Brush. Repaint. Dip. <laughs> this took years to master here. I know a lot of you have questions about how to paint. <laughs> And that's basically the technique I learned from my father and his father. father <laughs> <laughs> awesome, honey. Well, keep up the good work. I'm gonna go back to oh. I'm gonna go eat a snack or something. Michelangelo, <laughs> Da Vinci. That's all I can think of. <laughs> Alright, Gina cut these lovely logs that you see here and she's pre-drilling a hole in the center of them. Uh, I basically drilled holes from the back up uh, across the ceiling here and basically if we walk around the side uh, you'll see the little blocks that, that we installed uh, and we're just going to lag right through these should hold them on. I'll probably put one lag bolt and then like a long screw or something. <laughs> yeah. So just wanted to show that to you guys. I felt like you just did an advertisement for DeWalt. <laughs> it's all <laughs> so Gina made all these marks for our three bars that are going to be in each window and while she was doing that I cut these uh, uh, this EMT conduit uh, and I am going to use this paddle bit to cut all of our holes so that it's countersunk and then we'll just slide it into the uh, opening down there should work pretty good. Everything will be locked into place. All right. So we got our bars. We got our top and bottom plate that uh, Gina helped me make. And the easiest way to do this is to kind of basically get that in place and then get the, uh, the top one in place, put that right over it. Then just take your three bars and insert them into the holes. And then kind of, I, I cut them pretty close, so that one's a little tight. Get the persuader out. Yep. Kind of, kind of tap those into place, and then basically you can uh, this one's tighter than the other side. I probably could have cut this plywood down a little bit, but it's nice to have it tight. Yeah. Just makes you look like a fool on YouTube. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, get that all the way up. See, that fits good. Yeah. Beautiful. Just right. So now, <laughs> we scooch that in flush. And, uh... Get yourself a screw. 
gonna put a couple in first, or to hold it. So we're gonna trim this thing out with some old wood. So we can kind of Take out old wood, put, put in, in good wood. Good wood. I don't know if anybody knows that one. Name uh, that movie. All right, arachnophobia. John Goodman. All right. Does that blow your mind? I thought that was pretty ah, cool. Ah, the bars. They do spin. We could always put a little screw in there, but it isn't coming out. That's the important part. Good job on those holes, Gina. You too, Chris.